TR3B Black Manta channel. Today we've got Fallout 76's best ever clip disc ever that totally ruined the game and made it not worth playing, or did it? Didn't make it better. Have a look at these. If you're after a safe, cheap marketplace to get a hold of legacy weapons, legacy items, or anything that's hard to find in Fallout 76, then check out our website EasyMPC. Use code TR3B to get 5% off. Links in the description. Right then, Clip Dogs in at number 10 is one of my personal favourites. It's a duplication glitch. It's very old. In fact, it's the oldest one on our list. And it's absolutely brilliant. All you had to do was make sure you went overweight by using a through hiker perk card. And what you did, you maxed out your weight completely. Then you throw an object, a throwing object or a mine, and try and pick it back up again. And if you're overweight, you couldn't pick it up. But the game was, for some reason, duplicated like this. It's absolutely crazy. You would get so much junk really quick. Like from my mid clearers, you get steel and wood, you can do it with throwing knives, mind you get loads of junk, really easy, it was really brilliant, I loved it. Keep in mind, I've done glitches, I've put them on YouTube, I've never actually got a full ban off of YouTube, I've never had my accounts closed down or nothing, I don't know why this is, I haven't got a clue, but I've had plenty of warnings. Like I've always said before in these videos before, you get free warnings, then you get a three day ban, then you get one week ban, then you get one month ban, and that's what on my first account, but that actually not what happens after that, but I've never had a full complete dead ban. So, at the moment, fingers crossed, we still can put these glitches on, because these are old glitches, these have been patched, this one's been patched, it's well old, but look what I've done then, I've got the best thing to do with these glitches, to get loads of dirty water, to go overweight, do the through hiker perk card, then do that glitch, it was absolutely brilliant, I loved it. Number nine, this is the unlimited gold glitch, another brilliant glitch, only, it was patched within 24 hours, but if you're lucky enough to hear about this and do it at the time, like I did, you could get unlimited gold, the only thing was, you set up to pay for it, but the weekly cap was lifted. All you have to do was leave the building, then go back into the building again, talk to this guy, and you could buy gold over and over again. Now luckily, I, have, and as you know, if you know me on Fallout 76, I have always got loads of flux to sell. So what I did, I put loads of flux in my vending machines with two caps each, told people about it. Everyone come and got loads and loads of flux cheap, and I got managed to get loads, loads of gold, and I bought the Strangler armor and everything you need to buy the gold. It's brilliant, loved it. Anyway, number eight is this. This is the um, foundation glitch we talk to Ward blah 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 you should know about this by now this is on everyone's channel this one this brilliant glitch you can get infinite XP infinite caps infinite scripts um, loads of other stuff as well um, was it the uh, rep and for the foundation all that rubbish you know what it is another brilliant one in at number eight unfortunately you didn't get that many caps you didn't get that many XP but you did get your reputation up quite high if it took about two hours to do it all you could do it another good glitch brilliant Basically, what you have to do is talk to him. As long as you had a bit of equipment on you, like the osmosis kit, um, the medical scanner, and you could do this glitch over and over again, the guy would never take the actual equipment off you. You just keep doing it. I think that's the leader's turn to go back in. It's brilliant. Number seven, the original budget glitch was absolutely brilliant. This is the one I really exploited. What it was, you had this in you had the, um, a rare plan. It was the circus cage and you had the door, you put the door on it, delete the cage, but the door will stay in your infantry, then you redo the glitch again, you re-lay down the cage, delete, store the door, and for some weird reason, the budget would go down and down and down. You can make these absolutely astronomical bases. Check out this base I made, absolutely brilliant. One of my favorite bases. The only problem is with this glitch and any other glitch to do with budget that once you leave the server you cannot add anything to your base and that's why I don't tend to do these budget glitches anymore. You can't add anything new from the atomic shop or anything like that. It's a good glitch though for a one time massive base build issue with that sort of thing. That's what I did and I really exploited it and I made this absolutely massive base. Another great thing about the glitches, they take, well annoying thing, it took about 10 minutes for your base to load in. But anyway, this glitch, another brilliant glitch. You can copy this ammo. Um, ammo, what's it called? It is from the ammo factory, the converted munitions factory. You could copy this machine that makes ammo, you could um, blueprint it, store it, you could then put them in your camp. It was absolutely brilliant, I loved it. You get infinite amount of ammo. It was absolutely brilliant, I loved it. All you had to do was something with this wire, make sure you copy this wire, put it into the blueprint with the actual ammo machine as well. Then it was saved as a blueprint. You went to your base, you could lay multiple machines down and get loads of ammo really easily. Number five, this is a glitch that is still in the game that will probably never be patched. This is the ammo gun clip mag glitch, whatever you want to call it. You can shove loads of ammo into one clip of your gun. 
this is the most crazy video I've done. This is me glitching out the two shot explosive dragon and look how many shots you can get into this weapon. Look how many shots you can cram into it and how fast you can fire it. It's only meant to fire one, but you're able with all weapons to stack them full of ammo and do this massive amount of damage with any weapon, especially single shot guns or guns with low uh, mags like shotguns, uh, pistols, stuff like that. It was brilliant and it still works, amazing. This is another good one. You could go to certain areas on the map, workshops. This is the best place to go. It was the Red Rockets work camp, uh, workshop should I say, and you could stack up. You go around the area in the radius of the camp and you pick up boxes. These boxes had plans in, they had items in. What you did, you stuck them onto a trap. You would set the trap off. I think there's a locking first what I'm doing there. You would set the trap off and it would respawn everything in the box. So you'd then take everything out of the box, everything you had, and you could spring the trap over and over again and get infinite amount of uh, goodies from these boxes. It's brilliant. This is the most recent, recent one in our little video today, and this one was absolutely brilliant. It was the only uh, armor glitch, outfit glitch that I've ever seen in the game. It was absolutely brilliant. I loved it. Those of you who are aware of this glitch, I'm sure, like me, managed to duplicate loads and loads of stuff. It's absolutely brilliant. I loved it. What it would do was kill your camp ally. He would drop a bag of whatever you gave him. So I made sure I had all my rarest legacy items I'd pile them up with, kill him. You go back to your camp, then you go to Vault um, 76, and back to your camp for some reason. Then he would spawn the bag, and then you'd just go there, you'd pick it up, and you'd have all the stuff that he duplicated. I managed to do it with, um, like I say, legacy stuff like the jack o lantern outfit, the um, Urban Scout mask and all that, as you can see here, look. I did it over and over again, we got plenty of stuff. Oh, my center arm as well, brilliant. Number two, weapon duplicate. I didn't actually have any footage of this because I was so paranoid at the time of getting banned, a lot of people did. They got full banned because they were silly. They actually streamed it with their names on and got banned. I was very careful, I didn't do it at all. What you had to do was pick up a weapon, or sell a weapon to a vendor, then you would bring up your friends list, as long as that weapon item was on screen, you bring up your friends list, quickly press on the friend, leave the server, and you'd sell that gun to that vendor, but you'd also leave the server. So if you had a friend with you, they would pick up the weapon to sold them, but you'd also have the weapon on you that you just left the server with. Therefore, you'd be duplicating the item, and you'd you do it with legacy, brilliant weapons, and that's why there's so many different, really good weapons in, in the game today. Anyway, this is number one. This is brilliant. This is how I've got so much flux. This is how I've got so much junk. This is the best glitch ever, and this is number one. It is really good. Ignore the writing on the bottom, that is from the original video. But all you had to do was go to your base, put down a display case, and all you had to do was put one item in it, um, leave the server, come back in, Go to the display case, quickly get rid of the item in the display case by storing it or deleting the display case. Then you have to leave the server, then go back into it and you can keep stacking it multiple times. That's why I've got millions and billions of stuff. It's brilliant, I love it. And that is enough of today's video. Thanks for watching, we'll see you soon in the way, man. Bye for now.